Alrighty then, why am I always crying? Look, I got somewhere to go. Y'all got me up in here tearing. I don't want this to run my stuff. No, no, no. I don't even know if I have waterproof mascara on. I probably don't. So no, I will not. Calm down. Okay. Everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Waldia, and as you can see by the title, today's video is basically going to be about all of my favorite products in 2017. I cannot believe I know you guys, uh, everyone is saying the same thing. 2017 like went by so fast, and I'm just like, oh my god. Now I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible, but I have a couple of favorites, and some of you guys can already guess what some of those are in 2017. So let's get this going. Now first I'm going to talk about some hair products that I've been loving in 2017 and then I'll go and talk about the makeup products. Now, you guys, the MVP of all products, both hair and makeup, the MVP for 2017, I'll let you guys take a wild guess. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna give you five seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you guessed Blue Magic, bam, then you're right. To all my beautiful Haitian ladies and gents, this is better known as Pomod. This good old Pomod has been good to me in 2017. A lot of you guys were already hip to this and I don't know where I've been. I've rediscovered Blue Magic hair grease, in particular this brand. I do have other brands, but I find that my hair likes this one the most. The other ones are good too, like the Dax. Even the Coconut Blue Magic is also good, but the blue one does my hair really, really good. And what I'm learning is that the, the hair grease is helping my hair to retain moisture better. I have seen a great improvement in the health of my hair, the thickness, and, I'm e and I've even gained a couple of inches. A lot of people were asking me um, long term, like would, would this still work for my hair long term? And the answer is absolutely, this is not going anywhere. I will continue to use this in 2018 and going forward and going forward. I'm never gonna turn my back on this ever again. Now the next product that I've been using in pretty much all of my hair videos in 2017 and I use it on a daily, sometimes every other day basis is the Certified Bella Pomade. This is by far the best edge control I have ever used, ever, ever, ever. And let me tell you how much I like this edge control. Now, so initially Bella Beauty sent me the pomade to try out and review and if I liked it I will come to you guys and show you guys, you know, how much I liked it, whatever, okay? so. I like this so much, okay? Now, I finished one bottle. This is done. Completely finished. Now, this is how you know that a product is good. Now, if a YouTuber is sent a product and the product is finished, they fin they use the product all up. Now, if a YouTuber goes back and purchases another one with the with their own money, their own coin, then that means that they're not lying. This is this is the truth. Okay, I went back with my own money after I done used up the first one. This was sent to me. I went back and purchased another bottle. I love this edge control so much that I'm gonna keep going back and purchasing. If they wanna send me, you know, some more bottles, you know, to give away, fine. But I like this so much that I don't mind spending my coin to purchase one because it's worth it. This is so worth it. So Bella Beauty, y'all hit it on a nail with this um, edge control right here. And if you didn't know, I have 4C hair. I have 4C stubborn hair. All right, my edges, mm, okay, be having a mind of its own. But this is the only edge control that I've been I've been able to work with where I feel like it gives me the hold that I want that'll last me all day. Next product that I'm going to be talking about is actually a, a hair tool, this uh, blow dryer. This, even though I did purchase towards the end of the year, is my go-to blow dryer if I decide to go back and blow dry my hair. I have gone in and blow dried my hair twice with this already, and mind you, I only blow dry my hair one to two times a year. But I like this so much that I did go back and use it again, and I got the same results, alright, with this. And this is the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler one of my favorite tools of 2017. Now this next product is the T Roots Hair and Scalp 5 in 1 Oil um, from T Roots. It's like more than halfway done, but once this bottle is done, I will be purchasing this because this one was initially sent to me um, to try out and review for you guys and I loved it so much that this is pretty much done. I use this oil for my hot oil treatments. I have incorporated the hot oil treatments in my hair care regimen, all right? And sometimes I just take some of this oil when I, I feel like my hair needs a little off and when my hair is un, in a protective style, I'll take the oil and run it through my hands and my fingers and just massage it into my scalp and my hair strands. So I've really been feeling the T-Roots 5-in-1 oil hair and scalp treatment. 
Now listen y'all, this last product that I wanna mention for uh, my hair favorites in 2017, I know you guys are gonna say, but no idea, it's not fair because you just got it and you just worn it in December. You can't, it's too close to 2018, listen, I don't care. It's 2017, mind you, this is my channel, so I can do pretty much whatever I want, okay, not whatever I want, but who made these rules anyway? All right, this you part wig is my favorite. Wig, protective style, whatever you wanna call it, this is my favorite hair of 2017. No, let me not say my favorite hair, because my favorite hair of 2017 is my own hair. This is my favorite wig of 2017. Like I mentioned in my previous video, I'm not gonna ramble on too much about this. I have never. Mm -mm. I feel like better length, when they made this unit, they had me in mind. That's how you know. <laughs> that you really like, like you're like, whoa, did you have me in mind when you made this? <sighs> this was made for me. It was made for me, okay? I've been receiving so many compliments with this unit from all types of people, you know what I mean? People that you wouldn't even think would notice, but yeah. And But even if I didn't receive compliments, I just love the way this looks, the way it feels. It's just me. This is me. So, now let's move on to makeup. My favorite primer of 2017, I basically use this in all of my makeup videos, is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. And the reason why I chose this as my favorite for 2017 is because I can pair this primer with any other primer that I have here. All right, so if you didn't know, I do have extra oily skin. So I find that when I use this primer, of course, the oils will start to come through um, in a couple of hours later, but it depends on what, what foundation and setting spray I'm using. But I find that this primer helps to combat the oil and it also pairs well with all of my foundations, um, all of my setting sprays. Sometimes I'll put this primer all over my face and then use another mattifying primer such as the Becca Everlasting Poreless uh, pr uh, Primer and I'll put it in my T-zone and it works well. It works really great with other primers. So this primer has been bay all of 2017. Now my two favorite eyeshadow palettes of 2017 is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. You guys, I've used this so many times in 2017. I love this palette so much because it has so many shades that you can wear in a day as well as nighttime. So this palette is great to transition from day to night. And the reds and the oranges and the warm tones, I really, really enjoy this palette. This is one palette that I can see myself using all of 2018. It's that good. Now the next palette I wanna talk about that totally caught me off guard in 2017 is the Jaclyn Hill palette. Now the reason why I said that this caught me off guard is because when it first came out, I wasn't interested in getting it. I was like, uh, whatever, another Morphe palette, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody and mama had it. I was like, uh, what's the point? I watched so many videos, I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. But then, I don't know what happened. Um, I think I probably watched one or two YouTube videos that convinced me to get this palette. I don't remember which videos it was, but when it came, it was sold out, so I had to wait until Morphe restocked. And when it restocked, I purchased it, and when I got it, I was like, just blown away. Like, first off, I love these pops of colors over here. The blues and the purples and the green. I was just like, okay. And all over here, you get your orange and your reds. And then down here, you get some browns and dark browns. And you get some highlight colors. It was just a lot in this palette. And I was just like, you get your money's worth with this palette. This color right here is one of my favorite colors in this palette. But if you guys have not gotten your hands on the Jaclyn Hill palette, I suggest you get it, especially if you're a beauty on a budget, you don't have tons of money to spend on a palette. I think I believe this was $38, but this is way worth it because you get so much product and you get so much eyeshadows for your buck. So I would definitely recommend you get the Jaclyn Hill palette if you haven't gotten your hands on it yet. Now my next favorite product of 2017 is the Fenty Beauty Foundation, the Pro Filter Foundation from Fenty Beauty. I absolutely enjoy this foundation. What I like the most about it is that you can um, use it for an everyday natural look or you can build it up for a full coverage glam look. And I've really been loving this foundation. This is in the shade 430. This is almost done. So when I get this again, I'm probably gonna get um, the shade 420 because I think when I 
I first purchased this, I was still a little darker from the summer. All right, so um, it blended well, but now I'm finding that this is a tad bit too dark, so I'm gonna go back and get 420. And it works for my oily skin. My makeup is not slipping and sliding all over the place. Like I said, you can build it up as much as you want, or you can wear it for a natural, everyday finish. So this is definitely a favorite for 2017. Next up, I want to talk about Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is my favorite concealer for 2017, y'all. This also caught me off guard. I did buy it in the shade tan, but this is almost complete. So once this bottle is done, I'm gonna go back and get it in the shade deep. Um, I bought this a little too light, so what I've been doing is pairing this with my other concealers. Now what I like the most about this concealer is that it's so creamy, number one, and the wand is just bomb. The way this applies, it applies like a dream. I really love the way they constructed this wand. It's perfect for the under eye area. And I feel like this concealer is full coverage. I do have bags, all right? I don't get enough sleep. Y'all know how it is. I put this underneath my eye. It conceals my bags and my dark spots and makes my under eye area pop a little. You know what I mean? So I've really been enjoying this Tarte concealer, the Shape Tape Concealer. Now this next makeup product I basically use in all of my makeup looks. I've also talked about it thousands of times. It is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the color Medium Deep. This is my second one. This one's already done, so I did go ahead and purchase a second one. Now, I will be trying some new um, translucent powders in 2018 just because I want to try new things. I just purchased the ones from, um, I think, Lancome. I'm just waiting for that order to come in. I just want to compare it with the Laura Mercier just to see, you know, if it comes close to performing the way um, this one does. Now, let you guys let me know in the comment section if you would like to see a comparison video from the Laura Mercier with the Lancome. Just let me know, and I will be sure to get that over to you. Now, for all my chocolate sisters all right if you're afraid of flashback you do not have to worry about that with this Laura Mercier powder in particular this shade the medium deep I find that if you bake your under eye too much with a lighter um, translucent powder such as the banana powder you know most likely you will get flashback especially if you're you know chocolate if you're my skin tone or, or darker you will uh, experience some flashback but I have not experienced that with this uh, powder and that's why I like using it so much because I don't have to worry about oh my god if the powder is making me look too ashy you know what I mean I, I don't like the ashy look no 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 let's get rid of that in 2017 all right ladies no more ashy makeup okay that's another video so yeah this has definitely been my holy grail translucent powder of 2017 my last favorite makeup product of 2017 is the Max Fix Plus Spray. This is an OG. Everybody, they mama, then use this spray. And I done use this so much that it's almost, um, yeah, it's pretty much done. Guys, this is like my third or fourth bottle. Of the, not in 2017, but I'm saying ever since I've started, you know, wearing makeup. I love this spray so much. But I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna put this to the side for 2018. I'm gonna, gonna try new setting sprays, all right? I think I found a spray that comes close and may work a little better than the MAC Fix Plus, and it is the Ofra Makeup Fixer, all right? But for the past uh, week and a half or so, I have been um, using the Ofra Makeup Fixer because I don't feel like repurchasing this. So I was like, all right, so let's give this a try. And it's a light mist. It holds blush, eyeshadows, foundation, and concealers. And I like the smell. It has a very pleasant smell to it, all right? The, the MAC Fix Plus doesn't smell like anything. I do feel like it holds my makeup in place. It makes me glow, but not an oily glow, I feel. And it doesn't make me oily, all right, if that makes sense. So I was like, all right, Ofra, y'all doing something with this one here. I'll continue to keep you guys updated with how it's working in 2018. And I'm looking forward to trying um, other setting sprays, you know, just to, you know, mix it up a little bit. I've been using this for years now so yeah but MAC Fix Plus if you're a beginner in makeup or or not if you never tried a setting spray from MAC I would highly recommend you uh, try the MAC Fix Plus spray last but not least now this is not makeup or hair related all right my favorite for 2017 my favorites for 2017 has been you guys you guys have been so awesome like <sighs> okay when I started my YouTube channel in March, I didn't know what to expect. I just knew, okay, I like sharing, I like talking, so why not, right? I did not expect, like, I was just like blown away. You guys have blown me away. And the funny thing is I've learned so much 
from you guys just by you commenting in my comment section you know letting me know your feedback educating me on some things that I didn't know and I'm just like oh my god I, I just you know I'm just happy you guys have made me so happy in 2017 okay calm down <laughs> yeah <clears throat> You guys have made me so happy in 2017 and I am just so excited to see what 2018 is gonna bring for your girl and also for you guys I just love sharing and I love discussing and I love the interaction like I couldn't ask for better subbies. I couldn't ask for it, y'all. So thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate the feedback. I appreciate... <clears throat> All right. <laughs> I appreciate the feedback. I appreciate the support. Um, everyone who's liked my videos, who shared my videos. I've had a couple of negative, you know, <laughs> negative things here and there, you know, whatever. But um, that's that's another video. But yeah, for all of you who've been positive and just encouraging and um, giving me constructive criticism, I take those too. All right, I'm not one of those people that's gonna be like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Why you no? And just yeah. Thank you from the bottom of my heart again. Thank you. Alrighty then. Why am I always crying? Look, I got somewhere to go. Y'all got me up in here tearing. I don't want this to run my stuff. No, no, no. I don't even know if I have waterproof mascara on. I probably don't. So no, I will not. Calm down. Okay. Anyway. Thank you so much for tuning in. As usual, do not forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. 2018 is here. It's well, almost here in a couple of days. I am excited. I am elated. I am motivated to share more. I can't wait to share more, y'all. Make sure you stay tuned in to your girl. Make sure to follow me on all of my social media, including Instagram and Snapchat, especially Instagram, you know, and Snapchat, and all of my other social media, such as Twitter and Facebook as well. Okay. Hope you guys have a blessed New Year's. Be safe out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't go overboard. Have a good time. But okay, let me stop being a mama, all right? So yeah, stay safe out there. Have a blessed um, end of 2017. And I pray that you guys have a blessed and happy 2018, all right? Until next time, bye.